One of the sad realities of life is that people and wild animals may not always be able to live in harmony. Case in point, humans and alligators. Coexistence is the ideal, but when gators lose their fear of humans, often because humans feed them, which by the way is illegal in Florida, something has to go, and it's almost always the gators. This happened to a pair of seven-foot gators who had taken up residence in a pond in Tampa's West Chase community. The normally nocturnal animals had been spotted in the daytime, in backyards and walking along busy sidewalks. State licensed trappers were called in. Julie Hartner and partner Mark McCall have been trapping gators for years. The Florida Wildlife Commission removes more than 5,000 nuisance gators each year. Smaller gators under four feet can be released in remote areas, but the larger gators are destroyed. Before trapping these two, Hartner and McCall picked up five more in other parts of the county. Gator attacks in Florida are relatively rare. According to the Florida Wildlife Commission, in the past 60 years, there have been approximately 350 attacks, including 16 recorded fatalities. Hartner stresses the best way for people and gators to safely coexist is for humans to leave the gators alone and never feed them. Whether it's out of curiosity or misguided kindness, feeding gators causes them to lose their fear of humans, which is often a death sentence for the animals that are such an important and iconic part of the Florida landscape.